as you can see, we're going to do estimated profit today. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I haven't done a video in a while, so it's nice to be back at it. Uh, the Bob Bear shows are fun. I'm going to Berkeley. I hope to see people there. Um, so let's get right into it. This one's going to be 5877 estimated. Uh, I'm trying to stick in the 70s stuff because the 70s stuff is pretty, pretty nice. Um, the jam, though, the one that I was just doing, they don't really have a jam for that in the 70s. It's in the, late, in the later 80s that they do that. So uh, I might switch in the middle of the version to a different version and show you the different inversions in that. He does a bunch of different stuff. Like a, a bunch of stuff. But uh, in this version, they're pretty conservative about that jam. I'm just going to walk through the song. I finally learned how to play the verses, which is why I'm finally doing this um, in that bridge part. So we're going to go through it all. Okay, so this little beginning riff in the in the 70s when they first came out with the song, he does. It's F sharp minor. So he counts, he counts out to 8 or uh, 9, I guess. 3 4 5 6 7 That beginning part, F sharp minor, one strum on each. F sharp minor, so I've seen him in versions, um, he just kind of holds out this F sharp minor and then does the, but I've also seen in his early 70s versions, he does sharp C triad back to this F sharp minor triad so F sharp minor get your thumb on there he does this too he kind of just cancels out the A string or you can do the full bar you know I like to do this because this is what I see him do it leaves his finger open for like so that might be why he, he does it that way, because he leaves his finger open for the that part. So it's F sharp minor, C triad, and then F sharp minor triad. So the C triad is just on the fifth. And then just move it up to, and then just drop your G string. So seven, six, seven. F sharp minor when you come back this one so so the bottom E string five four two why you're doing this F sharp minor because it's the sharp nine nine he's putting that sharp nine on the F sharp minor I like to t I take my thumb off because I can't keep the thumb while I'm doing that so Before you go back into it, you put the flat five on it, or I'm sorry, flat six sharp five, flat six sharp five. So it kind of becomes like a D chord, bottom D inversion, but in F sharp minor that would be the sharp five or flat six.
this is a weird count too. So uh, it's kind of like stuttered step. So it's like. It's like seven count, kinda. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the so like the eight is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. I don't know what to call that key signature, but it is like a seven count. So it's kind of stuttered. So you kind of like hop step, hop step on the seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you kind of strum that F sharp minor like. Strums. So we'll go through that part one more time. part I just learned so Bob does a bunch of single notes it's like he's playing bass notes right here but it's different than what Phil's playing you can hear Phil playing his own little run um, but from what I've seen it's like he hits this in verse he hasn't hit this version of F sharp minor yet he's done this and this but he hasn't done this yet so when he starts the verse in my time coming any day you don't really have to put on this I've kind of seen him just hit the top two but you can hit the full chord so so it's just this little box. It's really simple, actually. Seven, five, seven, five. A string, E string, F sharp minor. It's kind of just where to put the notes, you know. But you hit that little before you, right before you sing. So my time coming. to the beginning for the uh don't worry about me no nah, no nah, don't worry about me no nah. and i mean no so you do that beginning riff wire no 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 and then go california california g so you just slide this up to this g put the major on and for every chord for this part you want to have this third fret e string on California. So you see how I'm keeping it on for the F? So G. So it's quick C right there, and I just do that with my ring finger. Kind of just 
see Jerry do that a lot with the. We do that a lot. Bob puts it in here for the, for the uh, estimated. California. So he lifts his middle finger up too for the F. So that would be a sus two and nine together in an F. Opening up uh, unbroken chain. I just realized that. Yeah, so that's the same little. It's a sus two and a nine because a sus two is when you drop the major third, minor third, sus two, and then if you add it, add nine would be flat nine, sharp nine for the F, or just flat nine, nine. So it's G, quick C, G, F two, add nine, C, C five, this is put in the five note on the C. This part right here it changes <clears throat> so that up to there it's just the first verse the chorus and the beginning repeat itself the and then you've all been asleep he switches to a different G from this one it goes up to this G so index finger on the ninth on the G Middle finger on the 10th on the A, pinky finger on the 12th on the G. This is a 1 3 1 inversion. 1 3 1. You have been asleep. You will not believe me. You will not believe me. Believe. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Sus4 so right there on the on the D string. You go in sleep, you will not believe. So the strum too is kinda like one, two, three, four, five. And then slide down after you go. Slide down to the third, hit that real quick. G. And then you do this little palm mute rhythm trick. Third on the E string. Third, five, seven, and then skip the A string. Go to the D. Five. So you will in a slip, you will not believe. F right here. C shape F at the eighth fret. Pinky on the top. C right here. So you bar the C right here. Just like we do in the verse. This C, then you just put your ring finger on the seventh fret. 
E note. You don't put your pinky down for this. You can sometimes, but I don't think he does because the melody is. Okay, so. for that way up the middle of the air D minor and you take off your minor note put it down this is two put it back on and then Jerry goes you just let him do that while you're sitting on that so D minor and then you take your your in middle finger off for a second so after the D minor, E major, and you put on the sus4 at the very end. Like I said, that, that jam is short, but uh, the ver variations I was doing with it are kind of the, when they when they climb up in the later years. You do a bunch of reverse. Bob goes out on, on stage and sends those G chord and those major chords out to the crowd. But uh, uh, so that part right there, when, after the E major and the sus4, go D minor, and instead of going up to the E, F major, A major. Now you're gonna do this little thing where it's you go up to B minor, so F minor, F, F major to come out of it. They're gonna like my way. A major, B minor, D major. So I went from B to D. So that's minor to major, and I went up four frets. What three frets? One, two, three. So it's just that's gonna be the gist of this next part. Minor. Major D. Now you're gonna go down a step and do the same thing. A minor, C major, G minor, B flat major. Okay, see, I'm kind of just like. Same thing, same gist on each thing. It's just you go a step down each time, a full step. So. 
minor, D major, A minor, C, G minor, B, B flat major, and then F minor. This is the tricky part right here. So he goes F minor, C sharp major, and then a quick D, and that's how you come out of it to go to the G major. Because this, how you're gonna go to G from this? You know, you gotta put some chords to come out of it. So the D is the is the connector chord to come out of it. It just steps right up, half steps. So F minor, and then switch to C major, C sharp major. So it's just real quick. But this is the inversion that he does to pull out of it for the. Right back to the G part. And this is when you can kind of mess around with the. Instead of just doing strictly. Instead of just strictly doing this. of inversions he adds in right there um i'm gonna go to this i'm gonna go to this version in the 80s real quick in the middle of this i've never done this before but i'm gonna skip versions this is Jay's all the way up here. Bob's doing G, C, G, F, C. It's like he's kind of just G, F, or G, C, G, F, C. So G, C, G, F. Any way you want to do that. Too, when, when they get up to that explosion part, does the 1 4, 15 to the 12 on the B string. Kind of strum the whole chord. Kind of strum the whole chord. He takes that off. I think there was an instance in there where you could hear it really good. You see, it's kind of right there. like. right back to the, the, the verse.
kind of just jam this part out. This little Bob goes off on his voice. I'm gonna do just the solo section of this jam section, but I want to get through the song. It's a lot to take in for that song for the Bob part, but I hope you can grasp it from what I'm trying to put down. And thanks for watching again, and more to come.